Brand new Gibson. The Aboriginal roots were very important for this album because uh, this, a lot of the songs are about my great grandmother Stella, which is again still my dad's side, um, and she uh, is where we get native blood from. And so, for me to really understand her story and where she came from, um, like very north northern Ontario, uh, and sort of what she you know went through, it was really important for me to research and not say it wrong you know and these are facts this is the one thing that I was worried about the whole time is you know there's even Ojibwe um, on the album I sing it and keep a fire in the rain and I remember just thinking like this has to be bang on you know it's really important so uh, you know John McDonald my writing partner and I um, really took a lot of time to to look into that um, that side of things and I think it's really important for wherever you're from whatever nationality or bloodline like it's really important to figure out where you come from and learn how you got to where you are. You know, a lot of decisions had to be made on many different planes for everything to be the way that it is now.
nominated for Keep a Fire was absolutely just incredible. I was so honored. I mean, this album is about family past. It's a, almost all the songs were told to me by family members. Um, and, and a lot of them were told to me by my grandpa, uh, Jean Rayom, who is my dad's dad. And, uh, you know, it was really important for me to get these songs right. And so to be recognized in the music industry and, and amongst colleagues and friends was just the nicest feeling. You know, you, we spend a lot of time working on our own and working so hard and traveling the country and going overseas and doing all this stuff and working just day and night, you know. So to, to be recognized was really, really nice and it kind of gave a little reminder, you know, like you're on the right path. Um, and specifically this album was really special to be nominated for because of... My, my grandpa actually passed away um, in November 2013, which is when I was on tour for the album in Canada. So, you know, just that these stories all came to life before he passed away was really, um, really special. <laughs> West Passage, a lifetime after you. I saw your ship, the Labrador, a ghost ship breaking through the ice that isn't there. So different from your time when the ice was all between. You love that ancient rhyme It's true I loved you dearly Even though I didn't know you well I swear I saw you clearly You were riding the ocean swell It's almost like you hear me I had said more than all those times that you were near me. I left to hell again. When I knew you in my life, so very young, I saw inside your quiet strength. No, I felt the magic draw Ocean through the man In a different time For me it's the gypsy caravan That's how we share that ancient
passage A lifetime after you I tour as a duo most, most usually. Um, I think that it's really intimate. You don't have all this other stuff going on, which I like as well, but I find when they're really, when they're story songs and when you're trying to get out a message and you're trying to be really present in every word, I find that it's just really nice when it's being supported in a kind of acoustic way. is my friend spirit is sinking i can feel the end can't see what i'm thinking can't hide it i can't pretend i got an angel on my shoulder i see the devil in the sky the waves are breaking over Drift. We washed up on the shore. I'm sure we never see those good men anymore. And when they arrived, I finally cried. I'm the Nabba Duncan, host of CBC Radio 2's Top 20. If you liked that video, which I know you did, you gotta leave some comments below. Also, you can subscribe and share with your friends. You like to share. Sharing is good. Share. <laughs>